finish this, because this feels like the end. Real close. We still have to get to the free clinic, but that's, there's only two things there, so I don't think... There, there, there. All the load-bearing columns come into this room and they meet... They meet there. I just need to place the particle in that junction, okay. activate it, and the whole structure should rise. This is too easy. Okay. Ah, see my Nice. And there's not a thing in this room. Why? There's no plan B. Might as well just... I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. Oh. Okay. I mean, I was like, holy shit, it just goes up. I don't understand. Atlas, right, this is the thing that holds up the blimp, so. <laughs> Who are you? Give me the girl. She means nothing to you. You've got that right. The girl means nothing. But you, love, you mean the world. Oh. Great. That honestly went better than I expected so far. But, uh, we'll see. So I'm assuming we wake Who up at a free clinic. Am I? I have a sack. So the cashmere's all home to hell. If Ryan didn't know we were back before, I'm sure now he's got the message. What do you want with this If anybody's got the line on the ace, it's her. Find oh. out what she knows. But no quackery. She's no good to us with a halo and a set of wings. I get started as soon as the claw form wears more. What is the oh, ace? Is it the character from Bioshock 1? I don't know where this is going. So, much like with the end of episode 1, um, I've seen gaming music videos that use the final shot. <sighs> and I think... I know the, how this ends, too. Because I've just seen a shot. I have not heard the audio or seen any context, but I've seen the shot, so... We'll see. We had a deal. There is Sir Ace in the hole. I told you. I told you. Oh, no, no. No, no. Are you familiar? No. No needles. Truth serum. That's, that's fine. I'll drink it if you want. I don't... Just don't... Too nothing much. to tell the you. I don't even know that. what an ace in the hole is. Ah! I am still playing ah! with a dolphinage. Reacts to shot. Sure did. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Hi, me. Seen this, this too. Children, not childhood. True. There's a profit to be made. Um, uh, oh, I'm sorry, uh, um, um, what do you want me, I can't, I can't do. Folks say it's only a matter of time until Atlas's entire mob comes out waving the white flag. Things are looking a little worse. Two weeks. <sighs> what? Down two weeks, loaf. Feckin' doctors. Better off hiring a million monkeys. Our deal was to get you out of prison. What did you expect me to win your war for you too? I tend to your own knitting if I were you. Now, darling. Being that you were Su Chong's lab assistant. As I said, I'm no doctor. But that doesn't mean I don't find the field fascinating. 
I keep up on all the medical journals and the like. I hope you have someone to help you with all the big words. Oh. You know what part of the brain free will comes from? Stubbornness? The prefrontal <sighs> Lobotomy. Now, I think it's fair to say you're a bit of a stubborn one, are you not? No. A man named Steinman told me this. I'll fight to the death. He's to a bit of a lunatic, run. but a fine Steinman. Surgeon. Right. He calls this little trick a transorbital lobotomy. Take hold of her, lads. You're wasting your now, time. If you won't remain still, I can't be held responsible for what comes next. Oh, please don't. Here we go. Oh, you're not gonna actually make me. No. I'm moving the pick across your eyeball. Oh, still now. And resting it on your skull. There's about a bit over a quarter of an inch of bone. Yep. Between the pick and your. Do I really need a first person lobotomy? And that's where this little fella comes in. Uh, oh. Why did that hurt my teeth? But I don't expect it'll take more than a few of those to reach the meat. <laughs> then we might find you a bit less the mule. Where's me ace in the hole? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> what else rests in the lobe? Creativity. Individuality. Personality. In short, what makes you, you. Mm. I'm just about through now. Great. Last chance. This is wonderful. Please, God, get it out of my eye. The ace in the also, if this is first person, why does it look like he's oh, up what? here? Why do you put a hole in my head and take away my memories? You want to make me forget all this. You want to make me not care anymore. Go ahead. You'll be doing me a favor. Yeah, that should be around the corner of the screen. Ah, uh, the monster? I thought that was you. Hero, ain't you. Can't risk ripping the only part of you that's worth the damn. Well, there's more than one way to fry an egg. Now, little one, are you familiar uh. with the term transorbital lobotomy? Please let her it's go. A simple matter. All I need to is insert this pig into please, your arm. Please, I don't know and anything. I... Taps with me I don't know anything. To show by example. Please, please don't. I, I don't know anything. I, I don't know. Please. Someone's about to get her powers back, ain't she? Shh, it's okay. it's oh. Okay. Listen, it's okay. I can't tell him what I don't know. Where I. Dad. The doors, and what's behind all the doors? The ace in the hole. It's here. Yes. But, but I don't. I don't remember this place. You've never been here. Then how would the it? The memories you lost, they weren't just of the past. You saw behind all the doors. Even the ones into the future. This is where I'm going. If you want. I. I don't like it here. It's yeah. a bad place. Oh. He's never gonna let me go, is he? Even if I bring him the ace, then why am I here? How if I was so smart? If I saw so much, why just send myself to the slaughter? For Sally. No, one day he will just rip her open and tear out her atom. All of this for nothing. Why did I do it? Why? You have to decide. Decide what? To take a leap of faith. I can't tell you what you were thinking because you don't remember. You chose to come. There. In that room. The ace. That's Su Chong. I don't know what to do, Booker. I... Booker? Booker! No, please. Please just don't leave me here! Booker! Hi. Thanks, little one. Su Chong's clinic. It's at Su Chong's clinic. That's a bit convenient now. 
Ryan's got every turret in the place tuned to me and me man's genetic code. We'd be torn to shreds before we got ten feet. That's right. Which is why I'm gonna do it for you. <sighs> so. You okay with that? I can't remember. Give me the ace. I'll wrap the brat in a silk ribbon. So I'm pretty sure. Into my bathosphere. <sighs> I'm pretty sure in Bioshock 1? Or maybe 2. Either one. There was an audio diary we got where Sutron. Well, I'll show you how to get inside. Thanks. You're we'll be great. waiting for you where you come out. Shake a leg now. The Lord hates a laggard. I'm sure he does. The Lord can suck my cock. Ugh. Hi. Can I help you? I don't have my guns. I don't have my guns. Do I have my plasmids? Nope. Cool. It's cool. That's fine. Ah. Why do I feel like you're not the one who usually sells the mail? <sighs> Alright. A couple things. One. Uh, as I was saying, Su Chong Audio Diary, um, where he's fighting with how to make the Big Daddy's protective, like he can't seem to get it to work, and uh, I'm here. Ah, oh, there's one. Cool. He can't seem to get it to work, uh, and he ends up like getting annoyed, and the one of the little sisters is like, "Oh, Papa Su Chong, pay attention to me, good child." And he slaps her. And then the big daddy protects the little sister. <laughs> and Su Chong dies. Apparently there's a full-on video, video of it that I've never seen. I saw it online. I was like, what the fuck? I think it was cut con content. Uh, either way, like he just picks up Su Chong, put him on the desk, and drills him into the desk. And that's what we saw. We saw the drill holding him on the desk. I don't know. Anyway, we're at the free clinic. Um, I'm not ending the episode. We're basically done. I need to piss. So, beer beep. Alright, I've returned with substantially less fluid in me. Alright. This one. Hey, Chong, one more. What the hell were you thinking? Drinkable plasmids? We're burning through ten times the amount of atom compared to the injectables. And if you fail to notice, them sea slugs ain't exactly growing on trees. Switch back to the injectables and let the eggheads in marketing worry about selling it to the chumps. Interesting. Alright. Launching option to be removed from drill in future models. It sure was. Uh, hydraulic fluids and gases within drill cause the subject to become unreliable and unstable. Huh. That would explain the one that killed me and Booker. Water, blood, oil. Hmm. All possibilities. You are loud! Stop that, please. I still don't have my plasmids. Uh, I can't do anything, and that's kind of more terrifying. I have a health bar, and I have the ability to heal. Hey! The prototype of the thing you use. Printing solution not found in genetics. Eh. No, it was compassion that imprinted. Yeah, my, my things? No. That's where you got the hair, though. My hair. Uh, Elizabeth's hair. I'm currently Elizabeth. I'm allowed to say me. Bouncer. Buddy. You. Oh! No! No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, buddy. Hey. You did, you did good, probably. Right. Let's see here what we could do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Scary. Stay away from him. He's scary. Look, it's, it's okay. Well, they're not imprinted yet. He can't hurt anyone. Scary. Shh. Shh. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god. Can, can you just move a little bit for me? Don't... I, I don't know how to help you. I... I don't. No, he's... He's just hurt. He... He just needs somebody to, to, to figure out how to fix him. I, maybe there's some... I don't know. 
Is there some documentation for him around here or something? It's just like Songbird. I'm asking. So <laughs> they couldn't figure out a way to make them fucking imprint. So what do they do? Ah, oh, we'll dump a wounded big daddy in front of a door. Little sisters, you're locked in there. Get imprinted. And unfortunately, little sisters don't have the compassion that Elizabeth does. Because Elizabeth... Elizabeth wasn't tortured from birth. Combination of a plasmid reconstruction with a field of quantum entanglement results in fantastic restoration properties. I have a fast track this project for immediate mass production to read throughout the rapture of this complete stage one. All chambers must be tuned to Andrew Ryan's specific genetic frequency before proceeding with redistribution. <sighs> yeah, that works. Especially for the sun. Hey, it's the hair. Great. Did I give him those? No goddamn casualty, no genetic line. Okay, well, fine. Uh, the music stopped. Oh, read note. What the? Oh, right, the encoding. Big Daddy will not imprint. If not imprint, what good is he to little sister? She no like him. He no like her. Situation is impasse. Acceptable. Yeah. Yeah. No kidding. Oh, wow. It actually fully decoded it. Neat. Um, next. There's another note over here. I remember seeing it already once. If stupid beasts had half brain, they would realize they need little sister to live. Sisters secrete only kind of atom that is genetic match for them. No little sister. No big daddy. What? So, I have to... What? The little sisters secrete something that keep the big daddies alive? So, hi. I need to drag over there to the big... Something. Okay. Apparently it's help big daddy. Big monster sick. It's okay. It's, it's okay. Please, I... I don't know how to help him. He needs Adam. I, I don't have any of that. They do. Well, they got close fast. We can help. Uh, uh. Oh, man. I... Respect. I would never be able to. But, I mean, I, I didn't wasn't raised the way you were. God damn. Knowing how difficult that is for me to do. Just like, all right, hold still. <laughs> Come on, big boy. You got this. That's a good bouncer. And now, that one is imprinted on these two. The lion with the thorn in its paw. And they're imprinted on him. Great. But that doesn't fix everything. There's still so many more little sisters and big daddies. Why the blue... Hey, it's the last one. Alright, let's grab it. Sutron. Send to Ryan. Okay. Did you to your puppy? She's very pretty. Thank you, puppy. Oh. Break her neck for me. What? Break that sweet puppy's neck. That's that was that was it. That was the most fucked up fucking audio diary from the first one, which is saying something. But thanks, guys, for bringing it back. Really wanted to hear that one again. Suchong, of all the things I know, I know this. It is in your power to be a different man. What can Ryan take from us that we have not already sacrificed at the altar of discovery? They are children, little sisters, and yes, they will forget. But you and I won't. The memories of what we have done fade only with the dimming of all lights. Oh. Tenenbaum. Tenenbaum. 
I didn't, because of the subtitles, I didn't see the name at the end. And I was like, oh, what is Su Chong growing a conscience? God damn. But no. Yeah, that was Danabom. Good for you, too. Well, they're safe as fuck. Was down here? I can't. Okay. So that's all the audio diaries. That was it. That's. I just. I made the bond happen. This is the video. Sequence to allow for. Get away, you fitty little shit! And the imprinting. Feels just a little too staged, but hi, no, we cool, we cool, we. Oh, 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 oh. Before that light turned green, I was fucking. Oh Jesus. Okay. Can I get over here? Okay, be cool. There's the ace. What? The envelope? Ah. Uh, Yep. This is it. This is the ace. It's symbol. it's you in game one. All the pain and all of the death for this. For all of the words, would you kindly? More than likely. Okay. Enter wall. Uh, do I want to yet? Free clinic. As door, door's door. Everything else. Alright. The lack of, like. That's a wrench. Oh, you're gonna make me. No? Alright. This is just here. Because they want to put as much. Oh, this is a fucking nightmare. Oh, why? 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 Oh, it's a fucking graveyard. Oh, I hate it. 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 Ugh, I hate it. Hi, Sally. So... I'm... Hey, system. Okay. I hadn't noticed. Thank you. Ah, I see you have more friends. So many friends. Why are you have the face... You know what? Never mind. I can't judge you. Give it over then. Let her go. I'm, keen to get this brat off me hands. I'm sure you are. What are you... Is that Andrew Ryan? Did you... Is that Andrew Ryan's face? On your face? Whose face is that? That's fucking creepy. I'll be right with you. Just a second. I need to investigate your paint. Ah, ceramic. So you got a bit burned? Fair enough. I feel you, man. Who are you? Are you the one who had stabbed me? I'm not a fan of you. That's what chloroformed me. At least once. You know what? Andrew <sighs> Ryan said I was a rube. But he was wrong. I'm not the rube, Atlas. You are. Huh? No. We both know what happens next. Just get it over with. Bang. Well, love, if you insist. Oh, it's wrenching. Mm. Time. It's wrenching time. Welcome back, Mirror. The world's... That's not what happens to your brain when you're on wrench. If lobotomy broke it, why would wrench fix it? <laughs> oh, goody. Time to crash a plane? So, we had quick flashes of, um... That person's asleep. What of... is this? It's just a bunch of gibberish. Yeah. What does this say, you little whore? Hey, hey, hey! What does this say? Bang. It says... Would you, Would you kindly... kindly. We've got the 
activation phrase. Now all we've got to do is get that genetic freak of nature on an airplane and rapture's ours. Yeah! A slave obeys. I ask the fate to save one life, it's to save the world entire. It is you who are the saving. I can see all the doors. And what's behind all the doors? And behind one of them, hmm. incredibly, I see him. Jack. This is the shot that I saw. So, uh, one second. Painful. So we had the flashes of uh, basically shots from the first game throughout the uh, the chapter to do when you're Elizabeth, and because Booker the first time said you were seeing the future, your future, or like implied your future. So I. That's when I made the assumption, oh, are you going to become Tannenbaum? Because the first shot you get is all the little sisters in the hidey hole where Tannenbaum decodes you. And, uh... Which was weird, because I remembered that shot where you clearly bleed to death with a little sister. Um, but this makes so much more sense. Uh, if she hadn't come back to die here, Atlas would never have gotten the code. He would never have gotten the A's in the hole. Um, the big daddies may never have imprinted. I mean, the fact that that one imprinted on those two shouldn't lead to universal imprinting, but whatever. I'll, I'll take it. Um, but that is the implication here. Which... I like. Um, I like the idea of you sacrificing yourself so that someone else. I mean, <laughs> fuck's sake! <laughs> they were. Oh, I can't. I was going to be like they're so heavy-handed, but they're not. They they were comparing the worlds constantly. The Songbird Big Daddies. They made that as heavy hand handed as possible for this DLC. With that, you're imprinting you on. See the pyramids along the you imprinting Nile. with Songbird Watch is the exact the same way the, the little ones imprinted know. with the Big Daddy. That's one. All right. Next comparison that just fucking clicked. They rewrote, sort of, 
how um, the Daisy Fitzroy she didn't die because Elizabeth was protecting a child. She died because she had to sacrifice herself for Elizabeth to be able to push forward and get the win. Because if she hadn't died there, Elizabeth wouldn't have been gung ho to murder. And apparently, that's the I think that's the thought process we're supposed to believe. And with her not being gung ho to murder murder she wouldn't have gone to try and kill comstock um i wouldn't have been okay with snuffing out comstock in the cradle so that's why did daisy fitzroy had had to die and then elizabeth knew that in order for sally to actually be saved like there was no way for elizabeth to come back and save Sally. It was too late. Once Atlas got her, Atlas had her. The only way for Elizabeth to save Sally and all the little ones was by calling an in outside to help Jack. And the only way to get Jack there was have Atlas call Jack. So Atlas calls Jack. Jack gets the good ending and saves all the little ones. But Elizabeth had to die in order for that to happen. Parallels. Constants and variables. Which, I mean, they... They pushed... They, they made it subtle in the, the main game that they were similarities to Bioshock 1. Which is fair. Like, your first playthrough, you're going to assume, oh, it's the same creators, and it's also a Bioshock game, it's just in a different area. Any similarities are probably just in my head. But, then you find out, not only is that on purpose, because constants and variables... They're building a multiverse of possible universes that all have the the lighthouse. They all have a protector, i.e. songbird daddy. And they all have constants and variables. And it's interesting. Uh, whereas when they go into these, they're like, all right, at this point, you've played the game. So we're no longer doing no more subtlety. Now everything is just bam, constant, bam, variable, figure it out. <laughs> All right. I'm going to wait until the end of the credits, see if there's anything. But those those are my thoughts on that. Oh, look, the president. Do I salute him? Probably not. Looks like there's nothing. Okay. So I know we're already in an hour and a half, but... I have other things to show you. Um, I'm not going to go through all of the maps. I'm probably not going to do any of them. We'll, we'll get to that. So, uh, <laughs> oh, black did this. The Lord of Misrule Shot up. Of a great fall. Ugh. So, I got all but two. The last two have been difficult. And then, like, this one, I, uh, did a little bit better, a little bit worse, but then we get, uh, uh, and, uh, uh. This one, really fucking hard by comparison to the others, but way higher payout. You guys, you can see, I have $21,968. Uh, I've bought all of the upgrades. I can no longer go through them. And I bought everything in here. Elizabeth? You weren't there before. Or whatever. Um, so, art direction. No. Yes. I just, I love this picture because no more underwater. Now in cloud. Um, atomic gentleman. Uh, no lady should be without blah, 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 should be without one. Uh, we'll get to those. Art, so original concept art. 
more concept art. Uh, Skyline Station concept art. And Emporia Red Light District concept art. I'm tripping myself up again. Uh, Fall of Icarus, Icarus concept art. I don't know if this is a thing that actually exists in the game, but it's nice. I like it. Um, view Floating City concept art. So we got that. Uh, we got Crashed Airship concept art. Yeah, yeah. Columbia Nouveau concept. Uh, ooh, this, um, this is not the one. Cabaret building. Yeah, which is basically red light district. Thoughts. Um, the airship parade. Concept art. Ticket office. Uh, <laughs> alternate Zeppelin, which this is like some Cthulian horror right here. I'm as much as like, I'm glad they went the direction they did, did over this. I wouldn't have mind, like, one of these. It's just like, here's a nightmare beast showing up out of nowhere. Uh, other ones, which a lot of these, like, Zeppelin shape study, um, a lot of these make me think of, like, the old thoughts of what people thought cars would look like in the future. You know? Like, in the, the 60s and 70s and stuff. Um, I've not actually listened or watched any of these yet, so let's go through that. Tainted love. Sometimes I feel I got this. So close. Get away. Okay. Fortunate son. Ah, we're going to Vietnam now. Songbird. Shiny happy people. So, these are alternate timeline versions of these songs. Everybody wants to run the real world. And I just, I love the idea of um, them seeing through the, the windows these songs and being like, hey, I can make that. Um, uh, also, important note, as I started buying stuff, I came in here and there was guests walking around. Mostly people just holding baseballs which was weird as hell, uh, and there was a dude in the ticket booth. And after I bought everything, including Songbird here, which cost 1500 so for your own Songbird, look at that, huge, even post-cracked eye. Um, after you bought everything, this appeared. Now, I'm not going to activate this yet, because you'll see. Uh, but it, just, it was just interesting. Very interesting. There's another one in the back, but we'll get to that. Uh, musical melodies, consensus scope. I don't actually know what happens to this. Sweep Columbia! Jeremiah Fink Brothers Albert is Columbia's most popular composer. Right, right, right. That's right. His many songs subjugate the charts. They were talking about that. Um, Fink... Can all this amazing music come from just one man? No. Um, so they talked about that. Uh, Fink was like, ah, oh, my brother, he's a genius. Seeing this music and recreating it, I could do that with science. And then he does. Handyman. Fink makes half man into handyman. Men. Tumors have long confounded our medical establishment. So what if we what, just remove the brain? Once transplanted to Fink's miracle suit, he is a productive member of society, I'm assuming. Once invalid, is in now invincible. I added way too many words. Finn. Yeah, 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 not quite, but sure. Let's go. Next. There's a lot to go through. Um, write your own love story. Uh. Uh, not? This young fellow tires of picnics for one. Oh, possess. So, mm.
I refuse. I absolutely fucking refuse. <sighs> Troy. Oh. Oh. Troy Baker and Courtney, someone, first auditioning. These ones are real world stuff. Yeah. All right. Let's see what we've got. This should be interesting. Listen. Listen, it's gone. We're okay. You didn't spot us. No, he's... He's... Oh. 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 Promise me. I will stop him. No. He's... He's it's unstoppable. Be stop him, but... Mostly her who does that. That is an oath that you cannot keep. But promise me that if it comes to it, you will not let him take me back. It isn't going to come to that. This place changes a little bit from that. I mean, this is the first audition, so it makes sense that it would change from that. But, like, I do enjoy how very little it seems to have changed from that. Like, that means he did good. I'm not shocked. Troy Breakers. Troy Breaker. Okay. Oh. Uh, I remember this scene. <clears throat> <laughs> I always I love that moment die. of just move aside. Kill him! What? Speak up. I never should have left. Like everything with this scene is great. Just Songbird, like, doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> and then just casually holding me down with the other hand. He's just like, what? What? Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. uh -huh. What? 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 Stage three. It's almost the final product. Hi. Time to die. All right. I think from this point, we we know what the scene looks like. Uh, motion capture. Broadwalk hey, dance. Elizabeth. Hello, Hello. Oh, this is wonderful. Well, come dance with me, Mr. DeWitt. I don't dance. Come on, let's go. Why? Man, that I'm is... Huh? How about Paris? Paris? How... He's too I still in the frame. He needs more there? energy. Where that airship's going, but if you want to stay and dance, we can... No, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go right now. Hey, listen. With Heather Gordon. Yeah. Hello. Did say. Well, how about Paris? Paris? How, I, I don't understand. How could we get there? Let's capture first pass with rough to facial animation. If you want to stay and dance, we can. No, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go right now. Hey, miss. Hello. Miss. Oh, this is Elizabeth. Wonderful. Come dance with me, Mr. Dwight. I don't dance. Come on, let's go. Why? What could be better than this? Yeah. That we've seen, so there's that. Um, I guess now we'll look at these. There is that, which I've opened, but I haven't touched anything in there. And uh, you'll see why when we get in there. But first, um, also at this point, we're almost. <laughs> if none of this is interesting to you, I would not be upset if you just stop watching. That's fine. But here's Booker. It's neat. Comstock, that could also be, um, yeah, whatever. Slate, yeah, Daisy Fitzroy. So all the pro and antagonists, uh, the Lutesses. This doesn't open until you've bought both of the Lutesses. Once you bought both of them, this appears, which is interesting. Um, I believe this is final handyman look. Like this is what what we see, and that is original concept art for a handyman. Betterman's auto body. Huh. Sure. Uh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth Alt. 
Elizabeth Alt as well. Elizabeth Milf. Uh, maybe Gilf. Either way, um, yeah. Anyway, uh, and we've already seen Songbird. Kind of hard to miss him. Uh, and I guess it didn't get proven about whether or not that's a booker in there. Uh, it could be anything at this point. But I saw somewhere that Booker was in there, and that was part of the help with having the imprint. But we just saw in the DLC seems to imply maybe differently. I don't know. So this opens to the Lutess's house. Let's go upstairs where there's. I want to make sure there's nothing. Ah, see, so. Foxophone. This evening, on my way back from supper, my theory became reality. A spontaneous tear had opened in the market district, emitting both sights and sounds. I observed what I could only imagine to be some future version of Columbia. Though familiar, strange red flags with a small yellow icon flew from her rooftops. Although we can lock up the girl, it appears her powers will not be imprisoned so easily. So the red flags are clearly the fox populi. I don't know what the yellow icon is, though. That's interesting. Right? Thinks bird is a repulsive creature, but I suppose a prison needs a guard. What surprised me is not how the girl has imprinted upon the monster. After all, one might observe a baby chimpanzee except to wire a replica for its mother. But I did not expect the brute to be capable of forming an attachment in return. <laughs> Perhaps it could prove a better father to her than the two she has known. Probably. That ghastly Fink fellow has been busy of late. He has sent his minions out to prowl the city, on the lookout for tears wherever they might appear. They are armed with camera and voxophone. One could only presume he is no longer content to steal patents from his own reality. No surprise, then, his scientific breakthroughs. I imagine I could also appropriate parlor tricks like incinerating trees with the snap of my fingers. But the universe offers more delicious fish to fry. Such as your interdimensional self incestness. No one more. When I finally brought my brother through, he seemed to lack the capacity brother. to square his own reality with this one. I suspected such a thing would happen, yet had no means to accommodate his distress. His behavior was that of the feeble-minded. He hemorrhaged nearly continuously from his nose. Naturally, I was able to transfuse him from my own veins and thus avoid catastrophe. In the end, it was music that proved therapeutic and grounded his thoughts. A middle C vibrates at 262 hertz, no matter what the universe. All right, and the last one. Brother. I have told you many times that I encountered this particular Caesar before he crossed the Rubicon. When I met Comstock, he was little more than a preacher, able to move both members of the flock or members of Congress with equal dexterity. He believed in my work, and his influence bought the funds I so needed. And if he wanted to use tears to play profit, that was his prerogative. But at some point, the man Selfish. became incapable of distinguishing his performance from his person. Yeah. I sit in judgment. But then again, it was I who built the stage. It's never a good sign when you start drinking your own Kool-Aid. It's like, people drinking the Kool-Aid, already a problem. But, uh, when you start drinking your own, believing your own bullshit, that's when uh, you're lost. Alright, so that's all of that. Now, there's, uh... <laughs> It's another thing. Still. I don't think... Yeah, that's all of that. It's just still this. Which is... Interesting. So, Water Puddle. There. Water Puddle makes him. And, uh... You kill him. And... Now, at first it was like, oh man! We're gonna see something new? Like something like an original trailer or something like the first trailer which was completely different that'd be neat what was gonna happen nothing it reloads the game um same thing happens if he hits and kills you or at least 
just hits you. He doesn't kill you. If he hits you once, you're gone. It just does this. Don't know why. Do not know. But that's pretty much everything. Um, there is still, like, doing things in Clash of Clouds. Oh, here we go. I did rope it up, which is knocked the enemy off of the city with Thunder Toe, rescued them, and then knocked them off again, which I did by accident in the first area, which is interesting. Sergeant in Arms, kill an enemy with each weapon and vigor. That was easy. Uh, unlocked all gallery items. Also easy. And then, so, this is, finish each way, all waves, in all four of them. You don't need to do it on one life. Um, so if you get through to, like, wave five and die, and then continue anyway, you still get, um, equipment and the infusions, which you only get after each time you finish a wave the first time. Um, so I, my recommendation, do all of, uh, Ops Zeal. Um, if you die, bleh, don't worry about high scores until you get everything. Um, and then do all of Duke and Dimwit and all of, uh, Raven's Dome and all of Emporia. And if you die, you die. Just to be like, all right, I'll continue. And then you'll, you'll get the, the thing and the achievement, which not many people have, which it was actually super easy. Dying or not, you're fine. Um, got to refusion. Is that it? That can't be it. I wonder if I've gotten other things. Weird. All right. Um, so there's still a lot of achievements. Uh, there's multiple in episode one, uh, episode two, get all of the fucking blue ribbons. I don't think I could do that. Started trying to do this. That didn't work. Um, this is difficult. Good lord, maybe. Um, been trying to do that. I think, I think I did do it in, um, Clash in the Clouds. And it didn't count, which was annoying and weird. Um, but at this point, I'm done the game. Um, and if people want to see me, one, go back through the entire game on 1999 mode, I will. But you gotta tell me you want me to do that. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see 1999 mode, or if you want to see me do... I might do, like, a live stream after this where I just do the arena stuff. Um... That would probably be better. Uh, what else is there? Oh, the rest of the achievements. How many do I missing? I have 62 out of 80. So if you want to see me get the other 18 achievements, I'll try. But um, you got to let me know. Let me know in the comments if you want any of that. And I will set up live streams. I'll do more episodes. Um, by the time this comes out, I'll probably be well ahead of where you guys are and be doing other things. But I have no problem re-downloading it and going back. Uh, all you gotta do is let me know. So, if you want more, let me know in the comments. But for now, you guys have yourselves a wonderful night. Uh, look forward next Wednesday to Technomancer. That's right. A game that I talked about forever ago when I played Mars Warlocks. I'm excited. I haven't actually... I, I beat the tutorial. That's it. Just make sure it played and it seems to play the exact same way as Mars Warlogs, which I have mixed feelings about, but I have no idea what this story is, and I'm excited. Um, but for now, have yourselves a wonderful night. Have yourselves a wonderful night. <laughs>